I sang that song for more than 60 years, a song of praise to Joseph Smith, the founder of the church I served as a bishop. I was a faithful Latter-day Saint. Jesus said, you shall know the truth and the truth will make you free. I realized that I was following the gospel of Joseph Smith and not the gospel of Jesus Christ. Many others have made a similar journey into an authentic relationship with Jesus. And that's what this show is all about, people who want to share their story. So if you're a Latter-day Saint seeking a genuine encounter with the Savior, we have a joyful message that we want to share with you. Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Ex-Mormon Files. I'm your host, Bishop Earl, and I appreciate you joining us for another visit, and I hope this, you'll find this interesting. I'm really happy to introduce Alicia Banks. Thanks for coming, Alicia, and sharing with us. Me. This sweet girl, uh, back in 2009, had a little stroke. I had a huge stroke. A huge stroke. Uh -huh. You didn't, did you, I guess you went right into the hospital and... Well, I was in the hospital. Or you were in the hospital for pneumonia. Right. For uh, pneumonia, and I had a stroke. Okay. Yeah, right. so I was being taken care of. Okay, well, she has such a sweet spirit, and you're going to find that out as we as we visit here. So, Alicia, tell us, where were you born? I was born right here in Utah. Yeah, in Salt Lake here? University Hospital, yes. Were you? Yes. And your parents, were they members of the church at the time? My parents were not. Oh. My mother was not. I uh, and I was, my mother was single. Oh, was she? she? Yeah, oh, she's okay. raised us kids by herself. Oh. I'm one out of five. I was I'm the ask baby. How many kids? You're the baby yeah, of the, the baby family. Of five. Yeah. Uh, were you spoiled? Oh yes, <laughs> <you>? indeed. <laughs> but well, not too spoiled to yeah. worry. But now she she was a member of the church. Your mom. Well. Did she join the my church? My mother loved the church. Uh huh. She always wanted to go back before she died. She always she told me she wanted to go back. And now I, what I know now, I wouldn't suggest no. <laughs> you told her no? <laughs> I would tell her no now, but yeah. she said she really wanted to go back. Did she go, go back. back then? And... Well, she didn't because she didn't have a chance. Oh. She died of cardiac arrest when I was 21. When you were 21? Oh, gosh. Yeah, I was still okay. a baby, so. Right. But you went to church baby. and you got baptized, did you? I did. Yeah, went to Sunday school and primary and all that. Yeah. Yeah, and so you went to high school, I guess. And did you take seminary there at high school? I did not. Oh, I didn't okay. have. I didn't want anything to do it for some reason. Yeah, but you were going to church, were you? At no, that time? no, not at that time. No. Oh, okay. Just when I was young. Okay. Very young, about in grade school. Yeah. Now you did tell me that you you went to Young Women's and did baptisms for the dead and. Well, I did. Yeah, I did yeah. that. What did you think of that experience? It was very scary. Did you think so? Yeah, I did. What do you remember about it? Well, I remember they were naming off all, all these names and dunking me. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, whoa, what is this? this? It's kind of, did you understand I, what you were doing? Well, I understood that I was being baptized for the dead, for but I didn't know. That passed away. Yeah, that passed away. Yeah. But I didn't understand that. Yeah. I didn't understand why the purpose, the purpose of it was, you know. Well, I guess when I did it, I understood what we were doing. I knew that these people had died and they hadn't right, been right, baptized. Right, right. And, but I That's thought at, I at, at that time, time, I thought, well, they need to be baptized, yeah. of course. <laughs> so we'll do it through Which me. You, yeah, <laughs> so I'll do it for them. Right, and then right. I kept thinking they were going to come and thank me. And here I am doing, <laughs> doing, doing saving them. Uh -huh. Isn't that right, silly? Right, right, that isn't is that, silly. Isn't that crazy that you think that you can be saving other people? Yeah. Or at least but get them started on it the... Gets you, it gets you to that point, though. It kind of does do something for the ego. Yeah, that you're doing something yeah, for somebody yeah, yeah, else. Yeah. And then you probably, you didn't ever go through the temple. No, but I went through the temple to be baptized, yes. Right. But I think the temple is the same kind of a thing. When when you go through the first time, you go through for yourself. Oh, that's but then, right. But yes. after that, you're going through for somebody that yep, has yep. been baptized right, right. before and has been has been has has died. That's passed away, yeah. And so again, you kind of think, well, I'm doing something for them that right. they can't do for themselves, right, right. really 
kind of what now I feel about Jesus. He did for me what I can't do for myself. Right. But, uh, exactly. but that's Jesus and not me. So it's, exactly. it's different. Yeah, I mean, I was so confused. Yeah. I'm like, because my mother didn't know much about it. And yeah. she couldn't help me. My grandparents, they wouldn't help me either. With the, now, they were active, right? They were very active. Yeah, Temple very, Recommended very, Yes, and, yes. Yeah. What Married did they, in Temple. Did they teach you much, or did they no, just... No, they didn't teach me much. I just saw them on their knees once in a while. Yeah, on their knees. <laughs> <laughs> in the front So they were room, good, yeah. good people, well, but, yeah. It's interesting. My grandfather was the greatest. He just so mellow. He was so mellow. Was he? Yeah, he just was. Just a good man. Yeah, a really huh? good man. Yeah, the Mormons are really good people. They are. But... I mean, what did you think about Jesus when you were when you were young? I didn't know him. I didn't know anything about him. Yeah. Jesus wasn't talk about. And they don't talk about him even at no, home much. No, do they? they don't. Father yeah. God. <laughs> it's always Father God. Yeah. I mean, it's always Father Good. It's always what is it? They call it uh, Jesus. You mean or no. God? No. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, yeah. thank you. Heavenly Father, yeah. It's Heavenly Father. Did you know Jesus was your elder brother in Mormonism? No. What no, did, I found that out later. That he was that we thought he was our yeah, elder brother. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And the pre existence and all that exactly. stuff. Exactly. <laughs> and that they was coming down, we chose to come down. Yeah. And that's why I learned we, we chose to come down here and stuff like that. Instead of like, going with Satan we Why would I choose to come down here? <laughs> Well, you wanted to get a body, I yeah, guess, yeah, is what yeah. the Mormons exactly. would say. Yeah. Exactly. So what uh, what happens after high school? After high school, pretty much nothing. Yeah. I've had a hard life. Have you? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry yeah, to hear sure that. Have. And, and after you, I mean, you've worked a lot, I guess, and had well, different I've worked, jobs yes, and stuff. Sure. And, yeah. Did you ever? Talk to your parents about, or your grandparents even about going back to church, or did you ever attend very much? No, when I was older, no. No, yeah. when I was in high school, no. Yeah. And was Not it just. I didn't want nothing to do with it. Now, you did have an experience at church once that you. Yes, a negative one. Yeah, and what happened? Well, there's girls, they're making fun of how I looked, how my clothes were, oh. and making fun of me just right in front of me. Didn't feel comfortable there. Oh, huh? no way. <laughs> so you went. That's why I said, whoa, God is not there, man. I'm going. You're going to go home. <laughs> I'm leaving. Oh, I left that that's moment. That's too bad. That probably happens in all cultures, don't you think? Of course, people yes, are, yes, religion. We humans are not very nice people we're sometimes. We're not. <laughs> no, we're not. We're really <laughs> not. I'm the most wretched of them all, yeah. probably. <laughs> well, I, I do think, though, that... Um, I don't know. I don't want to be so specific, but Mormons do have certain standards or certain oh, expectations yes, of strict. people, and if you don't quite measure up, yep. where I think My in Christianity that we're, that we're more accepting of people with different backgrounds and different, you know, just right. that are different. Right, right, yeah, right. a little more accepting of exactly. people. Exactly. Yeah. Not, we don't judge quite exactly. as much. Exactly. Yeah. I know. I find judgmental. It was so judgmental in the church. Yeah. And I'll shh. <laughs> yeah. I'll hear shh yeah. every time. Yeah. What did you think of the Bible when you were uh, well, in your... I could confuse me. Yeah. I mean, very confusing. Yeah. Even as an adult, it was confusing. But when you have the Holy Spirit helping you. Well, let's talk about your coming to Jesus, so to speak. Okay. You. This was back in 1994 yes, or so. Yes. So tell us what happened. So um, I had a, well, I'd say he was an associate, a friend, like, you know. Yeah. He came to stay with me because I had an ex-boyfriend that was, that was, uh, was hot stock, I mean. Uh, uh oh So I had him come stay with me. Yeah. Well, he went to church. My goodness, this guy, Seth, he, he went... He would talk about Jesus. His face would light up. <laughs> I kid you not. I saw a light come off his face. Talking about, talk about Jesus. Yeah, and that's what he'd talk about Jesus. And I was so sick at the time. Well, had he I been a like, Mormon? Was he a Mormon? Oh heavens, no. He's always a Christian. No, 
I guess. And you were sick at the time, you say? I was very sick at the time. I had my baby. I had to go to my cousins. Mm. Um, I called my grandmother. And I said, don't tell anybody, but I need to go to the hospital. Because I found out I wasn't taking care of myself. No. I looked in the mirror, and then I saw bones, just bones hanging out of my body. I'm like, and so I called my grandma. I go, Grandma, don't tell anybody, but I'm sick. I need. To, I think I need to go to the hospital. Yeah. I'm not feeding myself. I fed my kids. I work hard, work hard, and took care just of my first didn't son. Didn't take care of yourself, though. No, it's just taking mm -hmm. care of my baby and working. Well, now this fellow that did he take you to church? He did. He did. What, he did. And he, uh, which church did you go to? Do you know? Well, it was on Forty Fifth. It was right off the freeway, you know where that Denny's is? Oh, Calvary Chapel? Remember. Well, it was that church, oh. but it wasn't that church at the time. It wasn't Calvary Chapel then? No. Nope. What did you think of it when you went? Oh, I loved it. Oh, but guess what? When I went in, I was so scared. I didn't want to go to church. I didn't want to go to church because I didn't want because the experience I had at the mm -hmm. LDS church, I didn't yeah. want to go, even to his church. But he talked you into oh, it? Oh, the Holy Spirit did. I need the Holy Spirit to talk to him. He goes, I know your your life's going to be not the same after this day, he <laughs> said. I'm like, whoa, and it's calmed me down. I just got peace wow. all over my body. It was, I was like, Did you wow. notice a difference between that church and, and the Mormon church? Oh, yes, what, for what sure. What was the big difference? Listen, because I was in there, I was sitting in there, and the pastor I could, could have sworn he's looking right at me when he's speaking. I'm like, oh, not me. <laughs> I'm looking down. I'm looking down. No, no, no. He's not talking to me, is he? Yeah. And I look back up. He's talking to me. I'm like, wow, God's talking to me through him. I didn't even know God then. Yeah, so what I did really you, didn't. What did you, what else did you, did you, were they singing? Did they sing songs and? Oh, he was pretty, oh, yes, they yeah, sounded It's all about him. Jesus, yeah, I yeah, assume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was. was that different for you? It was very different. It was very, very relieving. Yeah. So very, he said that your life would never be the same. Same, has yep, it been, yep. Has that been it true? Has, yes, it has. I went out to church, smile from ear to ear. Kid <laughs> you not. Yeah. I could not stop smiling that day. Wow. I went up and received Jesus as my Savior. You went up front and yes, I did. Uh, what they call an altar call. Yeah, that's I guess. right. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And did you feel born again at that moment, or oh, what was man. that when you had your moment? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It really was. Well, what did you feel? Oh, I felt a lot of things. I had plenty of people praying for me. Yeah. You know, around me. And you were still ill then. Oh did no. Did you start getting better? No. I started getting better. Yeah, I wanted. I got sick out of my my second son. Okay. When he after he was born, I yeah. started going downhill. It was poor, poor, poor depression. Postpartum. Yeah. That's real, isn't yes, it? Yes, it's very yeah. real. And I was dying. And then after going to church and I feel like time passes, you start feeling better and taking yeah, care yeah, of yourself, yeah, yeah. which is important to do. Exactly. Yeah. So well, did you I start going help. to church then? Oh, what kind of help? Well, I had a, my, my uh, actually my landlord helped me. She came and got me and took me to her house and took care of me for a few days oh, and nice. then made me get up on my own. Good for her. <laughs> I loved it. Yeah. I loved that from her. Yeah. That was so awesome. Well, did you keep going to church then? or? Of course, yes. I, I lived in Provo. Yeah. And now you drove down to 45th every day from Provo. Every Sunday? Every Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. And How did you go to church? How did they have it? So did what did you think about Jesus then? Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I, A little different? Man, it was so awesome. Yeah. It's indescribable almost. Yeah. How about the Bible? The Bible, yes. And God, the Lord got me the Bible. I didn't leave it alone. <laughs> I couldn't leave it alone. I was... I look at the clock as uh, afternoon. You know, I'm reading the Bible, and I'm reading it till like four o'clock in the morning. Wow. I'm like, wow, the time has passed. I'm sorry, four in the morning. <laughs> have you read it? So, any, have you read it before? 
he did a quick work. No, never read it before ever. Yeah. But I had a, I had a love for it because I had a love for Jesus. Yeah. And he gave me that. Wow. So you end up um, finding a Christian husband. Yes, an yeah. LDS husband actually. Oh, was he LDS oh, at the yes. time? Oh yes, he was in. We're going to meet him next time, actually. Yeah. Brent, Brent. Okay. So what? Uh, tell us about that. Well. We uh, met on the phone, we had conversations on the phone, <clears throat> and, excuse me. Sure. Was this before 1994, or was this, mm. after, mm. were you still Mormon then, or were you? No, no. In 94, I was out of Mormon, totally out of Mormon. Right, but when did you meet him? I met him in 05. Oh, okay. I believe. But he was Mormon. Yes, he was. What is, but you know, the Lord had told me because I listened to the Lord. Sure. He told me, the Spirit goes, go get him. I want him. <laughs> Seriously. Really? I kid you not. So I, I went and met him on his birthday. Yeah. And uh, And today's your birthday, and I, you know, by the way, yeah. right? Yeah. I you brought met him, him on brought his a, birthday. Yeah, I brought a six pack of beer. Oh, you we did? We sat and had a beer together, yeah. So he wasn't a real active Mormon at that point? No, he point. was not. Oh, okay. He was confused. He didn't know what to do. He was being pulled, yeah. you know. So did you take him to church? Oh, yes. We looked for a church by ourselves. He helped look for a church for us. Yeah. And I helped, too. Yeah. What did he think of that? He thought it was great. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. And so tell us now about your life. You You go to church, of course, and... I see you at church, actually, don't I? And, yeah. You know, and praising Jesus and, and reading the Bible and all those yeah. neat things that we do. It's awesome. Yeah. Now, you share with other people, too, right? Yes, I do. Tell I used us to, about that. I used to go, I used to stream ministry before my stroke. I don't do it anymore, but yeah. I used to go out and, and I would, to the homeless, I'd go to the homeless Mm -hmm. And I go to other people, any people on the street. I just go to them and say, "Hey, do you have Jesus Christ? What'd would you say? like to have him?" <laughs> what they say? They go, "Well, yeah." Would you I go? Would you like to pray with me right now? They go, "Yes." And I go, "Okay, let's do it." And you would pray with them? I would. And my husband a witness to that. <laughs> what do What do people think of that when you do that? I don't know. I didn't care. Yeah. I didn't care because I was doing what the Lord sent me to. You just felt like you yeah. had a message to give. Yeah. And, now, the Mormon Church sends out 70,000, 80,000 missionaries, or they have that many out, uh -huh. and they feel like they have a message to oh, give. Oh, they do. They and so, do. But they always ask or always say to me, well, you, you're, you've left the church, but you can't leave it alone, and in the sense of me continuing to talk about Right. what I call the good news and the bad news yeah, of, right, of right, Mormonism right. and the good right. news of the gospel. Uh, of do gospel. you feel like it's important to share the gospel? Yes, I do, matter of yeah. fact. Do you? Mm-hmm. Okay. Very much so. And have you? And you say you've done that and I had have. good experiences, and you know, I guess. The Lord did a quick work on me, really quick. That's why I was reading the Bible every day, all the time. I mean, yeah, out for hours. He wanted me to get in there. He gave me a prayer, too, because he knew uh, what I was going to be going through. He gave you a prayer? He gave me a prayer out of the Bible, the full armor of God, and he had me remember it. He had me memorize it. The full armor, the full armor of God. The full armor of God, yeah. Yep. Okay. Ephesians 6.10. Yeah? You remember it? Well, not anymore. <laughs> okay. I but put I you to... on the spot there, but I've <laughs> forgotten more I, than I, I, I got remember. a little bit of it, but... Yeah. Well, that's sweet. Well, so what's uh, what's in store for you in life? Well, now, after my stroke, I really don't know. Yeah. You've had some other health issues, yes, too. Yes, I have. Yeah. Yeah. I have so many, I don't know what to do with all of them. Mm, I'm so sorry <laughs> to hear that. But well, you trust in the okay. Lord. I do, I do, and, and He brings whatever. me through all of it. Yeah, isn't that great? He has brought me through all of it. What, on your experiences, what do you think the Mormons most misunderstand about Christians? They misunderstand the relationship with Jesus Christ. Who He is. Yes, yeah. to, to connect with Him, 
to have a relationship with him, to talk to him. You know, yeah. it's not that, well, Jesus told us how to pray, pray in the Father, you know. Yeah. yeah. But. So they just. They just don't understand how to have a relationship. They're just not the biblical Jesus. Is no, it's it? not. I mean, it's, no, no, no. You know, the, the Bible doesn't talk about him being our They're older so brother. It's so different, or, though. No, it, no, it doesn't. Yeah. It tells us that it he's tells God. Us, and, yep, he's the yeah. only God. Yeah. One and only. Well, so. You've talked to a few Mormons, I guess, over the oh, years. Do you of tell course, them yes, my how family. do you teach them? What do you tell them to look for if they have any questions? Oh, I haven't talked to any Mormons really. What do you say to your family to. though? My family. Yeah. I don't even talk to them. Because they, well, they don't want to talk to me. I'm the black sheep. I tell you. <laughs> You're the black, I'm the black sheep. Now. sheep. Was your mom yeah. now with you? <laughs> yes, it was my mother. Now it's me. And is I knew it, I, she was. She had, she has, she was such a good example of love, and that's what Christ is. She's such was. a good example of love, walking on this earth. She'd take off her shirt for anybody that needed it. I kid you not. You she said would, she was a single mom with she five was single, kids. Yep, she was. Well, that's a real challenge. Yes, and I watched a lot happen, boy. So, but she had a lot of love in her heart. Oh, and, she had so yeah. much love. See, that's where I get my love from. A did lot you get, of it. ever get a? Did you ever get a chance to talk to her about your experiences? Oh, of course. You know what? I came home from school one day. Oh my heavens! She was bust out in tears. She was crying. I go, Mama, what's wrong? And she goes, The bishop told me I'm going to hell because I drink and smoke. <laughs> that's what he said to her. Kidding not. I don't know what she went there for. <laughs> I'm that's like, what he whoa, told her, though, that's huh? what he told her, yeah. Okay. Isn't that funny? And, and Jesus said it It doesn't matter what goes into the mouth, it's what comes out of yep, the mouth yep, that, yep. that makes a difference. Exactly. Yeah. Well, Alicia, um, you've got a few minutes left here. Uh, what, what Do you want to say anything to your family or friends? I would say I love you and please trust in Jesus and have a relationship with him. He will give you a relationship with him. Well, thanks. Uh, do you uh, do you sense that you know more about Mormonism now than you did as a Mormon? Yes, 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 indeed. Why don't mm. Why don't the Mormons want? Or, I mean, it almost seems like they're being told not to study, and not to look at stuff. Mormons. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, do you th what do you think well, yeah, they're afraid they're so of? Yeah, they're so ignorant. What do you think they're afraid of? Oh, I don't know. I mean, Guess they what they're taught. Yeah, I think that the it's leaders are, are discouraging them from really, yeah, it's really looking at stuff. And I know they put out gospel essays. Have you read any of those oh, yet? Of course. Have you? Oh. And they talk no, about essays, no. Oh, no, the it's essays, on LDS.org no. even. Oh, is it? Yeah, and there's like thir well, I haven't 13 checked that or out. so. I 13 or so essays <clears throat> that talk about Joseph Smith's polygamy and oh, yeah. um, different things. I heard he had 40 wives. Or did he have 40 wives? Well, at least 33 or 34, I think, <laughs> is what, you know, I don't know uh, what the exact number is. but yeah. And some of them were 14, you know, and now they finally yeah, admitting 14. that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, I remember uh, they that, 14. A, but I know the church is kind of encouraging. We've got general conference coming up, and I just have a yeah. feeling that they're going to encourage people not to look at the internet, and not oh, to go yes, do yes. any study right, or right. you know discourage them from looking well, at anything. Sure, and they do. Yeah. And I've heard it. Yeah. I personally heard it for myself. Yeah. Have, did you read any books that have influenced oh. you? Well, no. We had a Book of Mormon uh, and a nice. Yeah. Did you I read mean, it? Oh, heavens no. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't understand it. Well, Nephi and all this weird. Yeah. I didn't understand. Okay. Because I was too little, young, yeah. too young. Because my grandparents raised me for a while. Did you read any Until other my... books, though? That Did you ever mm. read? I wasn't much of a reader. Weren't you? Nope, until God got to hold me. When you started reading the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Until Jesus got to hold me. Yeah. Yeah. So what's your favorite story in the Bible? My favorite story is Job. Is it? Oh, Joseph. No, Joseph. Oh, Joseph, yes, yes, oh. that's my favorite story right there. Oh. 
But I like Job because it reminds so much of my life. <laughs> so well, that's what I was life. thinking about Job. You've gone through so much <laughs> yeah. yourself. And, and yeah. you've had a couple of children. Correct. Yeah. And how are they? How old are they? 27, 23, I believe. You don't look old enough to have a 27-year-old. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I uh, certainly am. And are they Christian? Are they following? No, they fell away. Oh, my goodness. Because my cousin got them. Because my cousin, I gave them to my cousin. And I stand in court and gave them away to my cousin and mm -hmm. her husband. They're a Mormon. And are They're they LDS. Mormon the boys are. And I said, yeah. no. I said, I asked my oldest, did you go on a mission? He goes, no, I told them, bishop them. So he didn't go on a mission? No, he did yeah. not. But he's not Christian. Good, no, he don't believe in God at all. Go, I go, Trevor, I raise you as a, raise you as a Christian. I tell you about Jesus Christ, you know. What did he say? Oh, Jesus, he goes, I know, Ma. He goes, but I don't, I don't believe well, in God. Maybe. God will touch him down the yes, road. Yes, yes, both of them. Remind him what ne he's learned. And... Both of them never. See, my youngest one, he was, he uh, he said to this man walking there in church, because I used to go to the farm or God, and the church, little church, was, um, my, little, my little son he goes, do you know Jesus? He said to this guy, he goes, no. Well, then he, he got saved after that day. He did. That day he got saved. My little boy. Got him thinking. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> and my, my oldest boy was anointed. He was totally anointed. He had to lay no. his hands on people and pray for him. It was intense. Well, God will touch their hearts again, yes, don't you think? Yes, they will. Yeah, I do. And you raise them well. I believe. They're good, they're good boys and all. Yes, they are very good boys. Well, Alicia, our time's just about up. Okay. Again, I've already asked you this, but you, any last thoughts or comments you want to make? Um, no. To anybody? Exactly. Okay. You just have a love for Jesus? and I do have a love for Jesus. Yeah. He's yeah. my one and only. Yeah. He's my husband. He's my friend. He's my everything. And how do we show that love? I mean, we... We serve others and do yes, for other but, people, right? Yes. I mean, you but donate you, your hair to cancer oh, but research yes, but you or gotta, cancer. And, you got you to gotta look at people and see, hey, what can I do for this person? No. Yeah. I mean, look, if it's, if it's only a smile. Serve others. You know. Well, our time's gone, Alicia. Okay. Thank you so much. You're thank such you, a sweet Earl. girl, and I appreciate you sharing your story with thank us. Thank you. And, yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Love and you. we'll see you, and remember, it's... Gospel of Joseph Smith, not the uh, Gospel of Jesus. <laughs>